Yes, I have done multiple videos like this before, but this time, I have taken it to the ultimate extreme. If those videos took hours and hours to prepare for, by God, this one took forever. I spent hours and hours and hours just releasing players into free agents. Every single player. And after a total of eight hours of just releasing player after player after player. Officially, for the first time ever, there is not one player on any NFL team. It's time to go and freaking break Madden 19. <laughs> Yo, what is going on everybody? This is RBT and welcome to the ultimate Madden 19 experiment as we might actually break the game today. You see what we're doing in the title, things have gotten mighty crazy. As you guys see here, literally no players is on any team in the NFL. That's our first time I have ever seen it actually like have teams listed as zero overalls one overalls I don't understand why some are one overalls some are zero overalls because there's no difference between any team they all have like zero players but today we're gonna see what the heck happened in Madden 19 if every single NFL player was a free agent no team has any players and we're in week one of the regular season we're gonna send into week two and this is not just like a fantasy draft because some teams might sign better players and other teams might sign more good players than other teams so we have no idea what's going to happen and not only are we going to see what happens in the first season since everybody will sign in Madden the stupid free agency like throughout the season you can only sign players to one year deals so we're actually going to do like a second season because every single player is going to basically if they don't resign be a free agent the next year and it's just craziness absolute craziness is going to happen in today's video Hopefully you guys are excited. If you are, make sure to drop a like if you do enjoy. And it would mean a lot because, like I said, it's been about eight hours of just releasing players into free agency to make this happen. Another cheeky plug. I am going to be doing a huge Christmas giveaway over on my Instagram. You've got to be following me to enter that giveaway, so link in the description box below. With that said, let's go over some crazy stuff. Some crazy stuff. So obviously here, I decided to choose Oakland Raiders. Why? Because... Basically, they're just, they're, I don't know, they're just not a good team this year, but no players on the team. No players on offense, no players on defense. You go to a roster, no players, obviously. Every NFL team is completely freaking empty. Not one player on one NFL team. Even if you go to NFL and look at, like, the roster for the NFL, not even one player pops up, but I, I've never seen, like, this before. Like, empty depth chart. If you go into Trade Center, and the thing that doesn't make sense to me is that the cap rooms are a little bit different for some teams. Like you see here, the Bears have 129 mil, the Raiders have 140. So I'm not sure how that's going to affect today's video, but it's going to affect it somehow, one way or another. And once again, as you see, the only thing available to trade for is picks. And for all I know, we could sim to the next week and the game just crash. Because like I said, that's like probably over a thousand players listed as free agents, and here we are. Showing you guys the available free agents. This is just a top 100. Every single player. And before, I think the, the biggest extreme I've taken this experiment to was just listing the top 100 players in the free agency. But dog, not this many players. The salaries are a little bit inflated when players are free agents like this. So, like, I don't know how teams are going to be able to afford full teams. But all I know, I'm just, for like I said, guys, I could just click this and the game could crash because... In this simulation, into this next week, 500 players plus are going to be signed a contract. So, let's see what the heck happens to the NFL. Send in the next week, watch the servers crash or something crazy happen. And, it's taking a hot minute, there we are. We actually got a win somehow. Apparently we have a brand new team. Go over here. What is this? How did this team, how the heck did this team get a win? Dude, this is about as bad as my freaking rejects, a 60 overall. Honest to God, how the heck did we get a win over the Rams? The Rams must be absolutely awful. I'm just shook. First of all, I wanted to go look at the available free agents into week two. Are there any good players left? No, most of the good players did get signed. So how, how the heck did this team that my CPU put together get a win apparently some teams like they didn't sign any good players it looks like either so some teams signed a lot of good players 
others didn't. So I'm going to highlight some of the best looking teams. Our highest overall player is a kicker and punter. That's never good. Rams, who we did beat. Best players, Darren Sproles. So where did the good players go? The Ravens. They have a decent team. Their defense looking pretty good. All their top players are defensive players. They re-signed Tyrod Taylor. The Redskins, they look pretty awful. So I'm looking to see if there's any like super teams. Saints, decent. AJ Bouye, David Johnson. They got Marshawn Lattimore back. Look at that. Look, dude, look at these corners. AJ Bouye, Marshawn Lattimore, Janoris Jenkins, and Ronald Darby, and Robert Alford. Dude, so I'm, I'm wondering if we can pick up on any trends. Saints quarterback, Andy Dalton. So to go from Drew Brees to Andy Dalton. Seahawks, they're pretty awful. Like, I'm just waiting to see one team with, like, all 90-plus overalls. The Steelers, Antonio Brown re-signs with the Steelers. That's that's a good team. The Dominican Sue, Brandon Graham, Micah Hyde, Michael Thomas, Adrian Amos. I haven't seen any good quarterbacks yet. Nick Foles is the Steelers quarterback. Texans, they're decent as well. Malcolm Jenkins, Jason Kelsey, Marcus Peters, Tredavious White. I have not seen a good quarterback. Derek Carr and Marcus Mariota. The Titans. My Tennessee Titans looking a mighty good. I just don't understand why some teams didn't sign good players and others did. Makes no sense. DeAndre Hopkins, 96 overall. A pretty good looking team. Our quarterback's Alex Smith. The Vikings. Holy, oh, that's a good team. Julio. David Bakhtiari, Rodney Hudson, Sean Lee, Zeke, the quarterback. They have a good quarterback. They could be good. Ooh, Cam and Phillip Rivers. So why did this, why did this team spend 30 plus mil on two quarterbacks when they could have spent that elsewhere? The Bears or another team. Who'd like see, like I said, where why didn't they sign anybody good? Bengals. Oh, Gronk, Bob, Earl, AJ. That's a nasty team. Darius Slay and Richard Sherman. Alshon Jeffrey, their quarterback, though, Dak Prescott, so that might let him down a little bit. Where's the Tom Brady's? Where's the Aaron Rodgers? The Bills, I mean, that, to be fair, that's about as good as what they are in real life. Broncos, absolutely awful. The Browns, oh, mama. So, out of all the teams to sign crazy players, Tom Brady, Aaron Donald, Le'Veon Bell, Damon Harrison Sr., Keanu Neal, what a team. The Browns, could be the team to win the Super Bowl year one. Bucks, they decent, better than a lot of the teams we've seen. Cardinals, another pretty awful team. Their quarterback, Deshaun Kaiser. They could have picked up Phillip Rivers, but nope, they wanted Deshaun Kaiser. Chargers, they uh, not that good. Jordan Poyer, their highlight player. The Chiefs, that's another awful team. Colts, good looking team. Devonta Freeman. Matt Ryan, Golden Tate, Mike Evans. Once Patrick Mahomes is going to be a backup. Broncos easily could have had Patrick Mahomes, but instead, they get Brett Hundley. Dolphins, pretty nasty. Cameron Jordan, Fletcher Cox, Russell Wilson, Doug Baldwin, Marcus Joyner. The Eagles, a ton of stars. J.J. Watt, Travis Kelsey, David DeCastro, Levante David. This might be the best team. For the most part, it's like the team signed their top players on one side of the ball. They don't like, they didn't spread their money out. And I'm just curious here. What are these contracts looking like? Like, J.J. Watt, what kind of contract did he sign? He signed... Dude, he signed a one-year deal worth 680 k I'm just now realizing that. So some of the really good players... A lot of these players signed league minimum contracts. Why did some players like Desmond Trufant cost 4.86 mil, but J.J. Watt, Travis Kelsey, David DeCastro, Vontae David signed... Like, deals almost worth the league minimum. I'm just now realizing that. What the heck? A lot of the, like, the quarterback signed big deals, but the other positions, god dang. Look at this cornerback core. Falcon, Jalen Ramsey, Casey Hayward. That's okay. With Carson Wentz as their quarterback. 49ers, another star-studded team. Von Miller, Delaney Walker, both on league minimums. Drew Brees, though. 18.3 mil. Can't believe it took me that long to realize the Giants are nasty as well. Harrison Smith, Zach Martin, Eric Berry, Khalil Mack. The Jags with Aaron Rodgers, 20 mil. 99 overall, Luke Keekley, league minimum. So basically, Odell Beckham too. I didn't even see that. There's just a lot of things throughout this video that's just not going to make any sense. You have a team like the Jags, completely stacked. The Jets, <laughs> Their top three players are freaking running backs. Speed this up a little bit. Lions, once again, they suck. Packers, uh, they have LaShawn McCoy, Amir Abdullah, and a kicker and punter as their top players. Panthers, 
once again, a pretty awful team. The top two players averaged at about 57 years old. Pats, they replace their team pretty well. I mean, that's a team with a ton of 90 plus overalls. Their quarterback's Big Ben. And back to the Raiders with that, we've seen all the NFL teams after every single player was listed as a free agent. Mental scenes here in the NFL on the RBT channel. So with that said, we're gonna sim to the playoffs. So we went three and 13, actually pretty realistic. The 49ers, Browns, Vikings, and Giants were some of the best records in the NFL. And the worst record in the NFL ends up going, we were tied. A bunch of bad teams. MVP goes to Drew Brees on the 15-1 49ers. Le'Veon Bell, second in the NFL. Lamar Jackson of all quarterbacks in third place. Aaron Rodgers in fourth. Aside from that, no real shockers. Coach of the year, the memes. The absolute freaking memes. I just really don't know who births a child and thinks to themselves, let me name them Ogbania Okoronkwo. We looked at all the season stats, nothing crazy to highlight, but now what we will do, sim the Super Bowl and see who wins the Super Bowl in this first year. And your Cleveland Browns get the Super Bowl win over the Atlanta Falcons 21 to 15. So now what I am gonna do is sim into free agency stage one. And I just wanna show you guys, it should basically be everybody that didn't resign. We have almost 112 mil in available cap room, which every NFL team should have about that much at this point, unless they re sign everybody. Look at this. Look at the available free agents. Luke Keekley, Jalen Ramsey, Bobby Wagner, Gronk, Khalil Mack, Travis Kelsey. You guys just see. I told you. Absolute mental scenes. Because probably what happened is a lot of these teams couldn't afford to re sign these guys. Because for some reason, when you sim that first week and everybody's a free agent, a lot of players signed for almost league minimum deals. Looking at the top league signings, Luke Keekley to the Bills, Khalil Mack to the Cardinals. See, oh, the Bills got another one in Miles Garrett, so they're definitely stocking up that defense. You guys can see some of the rest of the signings. Let's see if there's any shockers here. See some of the quarterbacks, Drew Brees to the Broncos. Guess I can just go through and show you guys. The Bills signed a lot of players. A lot of players signed with the Bills, and you see a lot of the same teams over and over again. Don't know why that is. I think at this point, just basically broken the game. Mariota to the Cowboys. Let's just highlight quarterbacks here. Deshaun Watson to the Chiefs. Alex Smith to the Cardinals. Jameis Winston to the Panthers. Teddy to the Packers. And there's the rest of them. Just crazy scenes, dude. We have officially, I'm telling you, broken Madden 19. To avoid this video, get it done. Patriots looks like the Eagles are their daddy. This is gonna be